Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is John with Get PC Security, and in this video today, we're going to be comparing McAfee's LiveSafe product versus their Total Protection Security offering. Now, before we get started, as always, I want to mention all the great information below in the description. If you scroll down right now and look below the video on the left-hand side, you'll see that Show More text. Click on that, and you'll find links to download and purchase both of the McAfee Security products as well as many other PC Security products. You'll also see additional links to other product reviews and related content that we've previously recorded. Please take a second and hit that subscribe button so we can keep bringing you more videos and click that like button as well. We love seeing your comments and questions as well, so please keep those coming and let us know what security products you want us to review in the future or if you have any other PC security related questions that you're trying to get answered. Let's jump right into the product comparison. Okay, so right before we get into the comparison here, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of history as to why I did the comparison here. So in a previous video, which you can see in the description below, I did a video on McAfee LiveSafe. And McAfee LiveSafe and Total Protection are their two top consumer products. And so then, then I was going to do a video on Total Protection. But when I began to dig into it, the products are very, very similar. So as you'll see here in the next couple of minutes here in this video, how similar they are, I decided not to do a, a different video on total protection because they were just too similar in nature. So let's dig right into the screenshots here of the two products side by side, and you can kind of see some of the comparisons here. Oh, and then at the, at the very end, uh, we have all the comparisons and all the features side by side. So wait, at the very end, you'll see that comparison between the two products. All right, so here's the first screenshot, and we, we did a couple of screenshots here. So on the left-hand side, you'll see Live Safe, and the right-hand side, we have Total Protection. So on the first couple of slides here, we're comparing the two side by side. So this is the main portal of each product when you first open it, and you can see it's very similar. You've got PC security, identity, privacy settings, the same with Total Protection. In this version, I had been using LiveSafe, so I've got some devices set up, but I don't have any here yet. So I didn't, this is not, the total protection wasn't deployed yet. But you can kind of see from the layout and the portal perspective, the two products are almost exactly the same. Okay, let's take a look at the next screenshot. So on the next screenshot here, the comparison, I've clicked up on the gearbox here, and you can kind of see uh, and look, look from left to right there from both products that there it's the same it's the same portal and and uh, features here so you've got your general settings and alerts quarantine items same uh, under pc security this is the tab over here you see real-time scanning firewall the automatic updates scheduled scans and vulnerability scanner same on both products under identity you'll see anti-spam the mcafee web advisor and shredder again exactly the same under privacy, you'll see parental controls. So both products do come with parental controls. Let me go to the next uh, slide here. And then just keep your eyes down here under privacy, parental controls, quick clean and file lock. These three features are the same on both products. And, and so that's it from the features perspective. So you can see from that gear dropdown that literally not only the portal look exactly the same, but almost feature for, by feature products are very, very similar. There's a couple of differences we're gonna, which we're gonna get to in a minute. Okay, and now on this next slide here, we've got Live Safe across the top and Total Protection across the bottom. And what we're doing is they're doing a comparison of each one of these tabs here in the upper left-hand corner. So on the left-hand side, we're comparing the Home tab, and here we're comparing the PC Security tab. So you can kind of see some of the features as you click through here. So obviously the Home tab we went over, it looks very similar. On the PC Security tab on the left-hand side, Again, this is just kind of going over what we went under, under, under the gear. You'll see real-time scanning, firewall, automatic updates, and scheduled scans, the same on both. Some of these do change from slide to slide depending on what tab you're on, but if you go through them all, uh, they're the same things. Uh, you know, run a scan, updates, and I'm going to click to the next slide here. These are the identity tabs. So on the left-hand side, top live safe, bottom total protection. You can see you've got anti-spam. And McAfee Web Advisor again in both products under identity, and then under privacy, uh, parental controls again is included in both products. And you can kind of see here, you know, you've got file lock, my network settings, removing cookies and trackers, same on this, true key, which is the password manager, is on both products, shredder. Again, here's a good comparison of, of the two products in, in, in the portals here. All right, the next slide here, we're going to get to some of the differences here. So here are some of the differences. We did see that kind of behind the scenes, 
So each one of these products comes with a number of, of sub-products, right? So secu McAfee's Security Center and the Virus Scan product. Uh, we've got Live Safe on the left and Total Protection on the right. You will notice some little differences here. So I'm going to point them out here. So if you go to the version here, 17.4 under Live Safe, for this is for the Security Center, 17.2 on Total Protection. Uh, the same thing happens with Virus Scan. So if you look down here in the version of Virus Scan, it's 21.4. 21.2 here for total protection. So it looks like the products are running on slightly different versions and builds of the of the products that make up the suite. But if you look down here, which is even more important, so I I don't know what I don't know the exact differences that you'll get with different versions of the software. I didn't see or notice any. But this is important here. At least the products from an engine version, so 34.39.0. The time I took these screenshots, you did it on the same day. At least both products are running on the same engine, so scan engine. So that that was really important. If, if this was off a little bit, I'd be a little bit worried. But at least both products are working on the same engines that have all the different virus definitions and things like that. So that was a good thing. All right, so let's get into it. So before let's look at actual all the differences. There's only a, there's only three that I saw. Um, both up here on the left-hand side here, so these are the features as we went through the, the slides and the screenshots there, you really got a chance to see that pretty much all the features are very, very similar. Uh, you've got virus scan, web advisor, parental controls, password manager, the firewall and anti-spam product, the multi-device protection, uh, the shredder and quick clean, file lock, which is encrypted storage, which is on your PC, not in the cloud, and free support. All these features are the same in both products. So here are the actual differences. We did notice that um, LiveSafe does include a cloud storage product called Personal Locker. And this is, the, I guess, the new version, the new name of, of their cloud storage called Personal Locker. I think it's available if, if, uh, through an app. So you have to download the app to get to the personal storage uh, feature. So that is cool. So LiveSafe does include cloud storage. Uh, LiveSafe can be used for an unlimited number of devices. So while per total protection can only be purchased for a set number of devices, either 1, 5, or 10, LiveSafe does have an unlimited number of devices. And so that, that was a big difference. Uh, total protection is not unlimited. And as I said before, this bullet number three here is one of those last slides we talked about. Uh, it looks like although both products use the same engine version, so 34, 39.0, and this changes from week to week and whenever they whenever they put new engines out. The, so the engine is the same for both products, so that was a very positive thing. Uh, but, you know, the builds or versions of some of the products are slightly different. As you see, you know, again, 21.4 for virus scan under LiveSafe. And uh, but 21.2 for virus scan under total protection. So that did differ slightly, but again, we didn't notice any differences. So only McAfee knows exactly how the builds and, and uh, versions are different. So that's it. And so let me kind of tell you, you know, why I made my decision when I was kind of going off looking at these two products. The two things you really need to consider when you're looking at live safe versus total protection is a do you need any cloud storage, right? Because LiveSafe does come with Personal Locker, which is your cloud storage through Met, through this McAfee product. Or do you already have one, like using OneDrive or Dropbox, or there's a number of other different cloud storage products out there today. So A, do you need cloud storage? That would be one consideration. And then I think the more important one is how many devices are you protecting? So in, in my household, I have about 12 or 13 total devices. That's PCs, and Macs, tablets, smartphones, all those things that I put it on, I have about 12 or 13. So automatically, I was kind of out of that total protection product and already in LiveSafe. And so that's how I kind of made my decision. I do have cloud storage, and I, I don't use the cloud storage through LiveSafe, but I do have other cloud storage uh, through my email and OneDrive. So I do use that. I use that. So that would be, I guess, the consideration when you're when you're kind of pitching these two products together. And that's my kind of wrap up. This is a short video. Hey guys, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Please, as always, do subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button as well. You can also catch us on Facebook at facebook.com/getpc secure and catch up on all the latest videos that we post and articles that we post out there as well and uh, that's it guys thanks for watching the video today this is john with get pc security as always keep your pc safe and protected online and thanks for watching the video today